Hello everyone, uh, in this video I'll show how you can achieve paging in Show Cockpit. So sometimes you have a device and you have few controls or you don't want to have access to everything at the same time. You want to have some of your faders doing something and then you want to click on a button and change what the, f what the, what the controls do. Either faders, buttons, encoders, whatever. So in this video I'll show how you can use the first five faders and have two pages on the X-Touch. So our first page will control uh, the first five the first five um, executor faders on ME2. Then we'll have a second page and the same five faders will control executor 6 to 10. And I will also show how you can use um, an, uh, an extra fader that doesn't change with the page. Okay, so let's start uh, by in show cockpit adding a grand ma2 element. You need to input your username and password to enable. Now we are connected. Okay, and the next step is of course adding our MIDI X Touch Compact element. Make sure that input device is OK. Alright, connected. And now the way paging works in Show Cockpit is by enabling and disabling elements. So the trick here is that you will not have one element of the, of the Behringer X Touch Compact, you will have three. We will use this first one to select the page. Okay, and then we will use two other ones. One will be the page one and the other one will be page two. So let's add two more X-Touch Compacts. Now I'll give it proper names. So X-Touch Compact page two and this will be our X-Touch Compact page one. Okay. Just remove Behringer so that we can see the full name. All right. So now to achieve paging, there's a utility that is very useful. In this version 2.10.2, it's still in pre-release, but it is it's hopefully going to be released soon. So we need to add this. And this, this element will control the enable or disable of the other two pages. So if you double click uh, and add pages, let's add page one and page two. Now you can use the mapping to map two buttons. One will be will enable page one and the other one will enable page two. And the buttons then the control events will come from our main from our main uh, uh, element okay so go to mapping and we want to map elements group paging element activate page one from our main X touch compact element and we will use to activate page one let's say we will use layer layer a for example so layer a and for page two we will use layer B I think it makes sense now the next step uh, you should already be thinking what the next step is. Uh, it's of course mapping the page one uh, faders to the first five and map the page two to the other five. And that's what we are going to do. So we want to map on grand MA2 uh, executor fader one on page one. It will be fader one, two, three, four, and five. And now starting on 6, we'll change to our second element. And the same 5 faders will act now not on the first 5, but now on 6 to 10. And finally, I'll show that you can also have one fader controlling the same, uh, the same fader, same executor fader, uh, regardless of the page you're in. And to do that, you simply use the main element. 
so if you want to have for example the master fader controlling fader executor fader 11 uh, regardless of the page you're in just map uh, because we are not supposed to disable this uh, this element only these two will be turned on and off so at this point you can click on layer A and you will see that there is LED feedback indicating that we are on layer A and also that our page 1 is enabled and the other the page 2 is disabled if we go to B you will notice that page 1 was disabled and page 2 was enabled and you also notice that our actual physical faders that we mapped to executors 6 to 10 are already doing what they are supposed to do they are synced uh, with this page so if I move these faders I'm now controlling 6 to 10 executor 6 to 10 if I change to layer A I will be controlling the first five and of course regardless of the f of the of the page we are in I can change to page B and this fader will always control the same executor so this is how you can achieve paging uh, in show cockpit of course this is a specific example with the X touch compact and grand ma2 but of course you can do the same with other uh, drivers so if you want to know what drivers are available in show cockpit you can visit our web page and you can also follow us on the facebook page and finally yes we have a group uh, users group it's very active and you totally should join this group if you enjoyed show cockpit we have a very strong community people are helping each other we are giving suggestions uh, ideas sharing files well you name it we have a very very positive community that you are welcome to join so thank you for watching and see you on the next video